Hey guys, welcome to my level 3 skiller guide for farming runs. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I personally do my farm runs and how I believe every skiller should also do their farming runs. I'm going to be going over every tree and herb patch available to level 3 skillers. Uh, these are the only patches I find necessary to do for farming. However, if you do wish to do other patches such as allotment or flower patches, you can just add that uh, when we're doing our herb runs as it's all right next to each other and easy to obtain. So anyways, I hope you guys find this guide super helpful and if you do, please be sure to subscribe and leave any comments down below of future content you wish to see me create. And you will also be able to skip forward ahead down below in the description to any part of this video that best suits you. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Alright, for your tree running inventory, this is what it's uh, generally going to look like. It really depends on what seeds you're planting yourself. Um, but I always bring 5k cash so I can pay the farmers to clear out my previous trees. Or you can chop them down for extra cash if you want to. But by paying your farmers, it saves a tremendous amount of time. Um, you're going to want your spade, rake, and seed dipper. Always bring your rake just in case weeds grow in between planting your next tree. Um, and then the teleports that you are going to need is an arty teleport, uh, camelot teleport, rock teleport, lumbridge, valley. Um, you can bring a arty cloak one that teleports you to the monastery. That's uh, for one of the tree patches. Or you can also teleport to castle wars. Those are the two quickest ways for a level three skiller. Uh, we'll go over that later on. Uh, you're going to need a skills necklace to get to the farming guild and a necklace of passage to get to the grand tree um, now I also have teleport to houses this is so I can replenish my run energy in my rejuvenation pool however if you don't have that in your POH uh, just replace that with a stamina potion and I also bring one herb seed uh, this is because we are going to be passing by one, so I just bring this just to knock it out so we don't have to worry about it when we are doing our herb runs. So let's go ahead and see what the run looks like. Alright, so on the left hand side here, as you can see, I have a little legend that I made here just uh, for you guys to get a visual of. This is the order that I do my farming runs in. Um, this is the list of all the locations and the type of patch at each location that you will be going to. Uh, I highly recommend following this. However, you can do it however you like. Just make sure that the farming guild is the last location that you go to. Uh, this is just so you guys can get into a routine of doing the same thing to make it a little bit smoother and so you don't forget a location by accident. Um, everybody watching this video hopefully knows how to farm. If not, I could make a farming guide later on. Uh, but I'm assuming everybody watching this knows how to farm already uh, and is just trying to figure out how to get through their farming runs as quickly as possible, which is what I'm trying to show you guys here. Um, so every one of these locations has a direct teleport except for Taverly. As you can see, I ran directly to Taverly here uh, straight after Falador. This is the fastest way over here for a level 3 skiller. Um, the Gnome Stronghold has both the tree and fruit tree in it, so make sure you get both of those. Um, when I am doing my fruit trees, I do not ever collect the fruits in them. Uh, I just pay the uh, farmer to delete it, and I don't even worry about picking the fruit at all. It's just, for me, it's not really necessary. It doesn't give that much experience, and it dramatically slows your farm runs down, so I just I don't even bother picking them as you can see here in a little bit. Once you teleport to Camelot and run over to Catherby, this is when you will be utilizing the herb seed that I told you to bring along uh, just because you run past the patch here so it just saves you uh, more time and you don't have to teleport back here after you're done with all your trees so this is the one herb patch that you'll be doing during your tree run. Um, I also forgot to mention that during these runs you probably won't have enough inventory, especially if you're doing all these special trees for your uh, runs. You probably won't have enough inventory, so at any time during your run you just click uh, one of the closest banks and then uh, just grab your other trees. Um, normally you won't be doing all these special trees during a run because they usually take longer than normal trees, but when you do have a full inventory just uh, run to a bank and grab your extra ones 
and then for the monastery castle wars I have both of these listed here because probably everyone won't have the arty cloak to teleport to the monastery so the next closest is castle wars and then you just want to run over this is probably one of the farthest runs during the farm run um, and just make sure you're constantly drinking your stamina potions or teleporting to your house to use the rejuvenation pool all right, when you are doing the arty farm run, um, you're going to run down to the charter ship, which is going to cost you some coins, but you should have coins on you already. Uh, you have to be very careful as a level 3 skiller when you are doing this one because there are mobs that will attack you. Uh, right here, there are jungle spiders. If it gets too close, it will attack you, and it does hit up to fives, I believe. Uh, so you have to be careful. I highly recommend if you have a skilling pet not to bring it along because... I have died quite a few times to these and then I, you would lose your pet or have to pay 500k to get it back. Um, it's even worse down here by the cow quad tree. It is very easy to get KO'd, um, especially in this video I have here as you watch just now I get attacked by a um, one of those jungle men, I forget what they're called. but. Those are random. They have to be activated by another player, so not every world's going to have them, but those things can damage you pretty highly, and they lower your stats. And then I avoid using the Leprechaun or paying the Farmer here because the Jungle Spiders can also attack you if you go in that direction, and they will KO you. So it's also a good idea to bring some food when you're doing those tree patches. Um, lastly, you could go to the farming guild. I use my farming cave just to teleport there, but you can use the skills of necklace as well. Um, here is the last one. You're going to do all your trees. You have five tree patches if you're doing all the special trees. So once you've completed all these, you are done with your tree patch. And then you can move on to the herb run as well. So you just stop by the bank right here in the farming guild and change your inventory out for the farm or the herb runs. So all you need for your herb running inventory is your farming tools. Um, you should have already knocked out the Catherby patch. So the only teleport you need is a Artie teleport, a Xerix talisman, and either a teleport to house if you have a glory mounted on your wall or just bring a glory instead um, and then your four seeds because you like I said you should have already done your fifth seed so this is all your inventory should need for your herb runs alright after your tree run this is the reason why you want to end it in the farming guild so you can swap out your inventories here at the bank and immediately start the herb run in the farming guild um, as you notice, I forgot to mention this when you're doing the tree runs, but uh, I always keep my compost with the leprechaun. That way I could just pull out the compost I needed a little bit at a time because those will take up a lot of space, as you could imagine, um, if you didn't get that already. But after the farming guild, you will teleport to Artie and run north up to the patch. Um, and then after Artie, you will be going to Hasidius. I teleport there using the Xerix Talisman, the Glade option. Um, that is the fastest way to that patch. However, if you don't have the Xerix Talisman, which I highly recommend having, um, you could also use the minigame teleport uh, to Tilth Farm, which is also somewhat close to the patch. Uh, but you can only use that every 30 minutes. But, I mean, you won't be doing herb runs any faster than that. So, after Hosidius, you will be going to Falador or Draenor, uh, which is where you'll be teleporting. So... Uh, how I get there is through the Amulet of Glory I have mounted on my POH, so I just teleport to my house. However, you could also just utilize a Glory in your inventory to teleport to Draenor and then run over to the patch past the Cabbage Patch here. Um, the only other option you could do to teleport here is if you have completed the Lumbridge Achievement Diary, you could get an Explorer's Ring, but that's actually pretty difficult. Uh, it's actually the most difficult achievement diary to complete as a level 3. However, it has been done and it is possible. So with that ring, you could teleport directly to the patch, basically. So if you have that, kudos to you. Um, but after you were done here, you have completed the herb run, and then you can move on to the final step for what I do uh, during my farm runs. All right, this is your last inventory. We will call this one the Fossil Island Inventory because everything on here is for Fossil Island. Um, 
you're going to have your hardwood patches and your giant seaweed patches. Uh, obviously your farming tools again. Uh, you're going to need your dig site pendant so you can teleport there. If you don't have that, you just have to run to the dig site and travel by boat. You're going to need your diving equipment so you can breathe underwater when you're doing your giant seaweed. If you don't have these, it's not really required, but it is recommended. Um, it's super easy to get. You just got to do pyre repeat for recipe for disaster. You just got to start the quest, and he'll give you this equipment. Uh, 600 coins to pay the farmers. And I also throw in the birdhouse runs. Uh, this has nothing to do with farming. However, I highly recommend doing it because you're already on Fossil Island. And it actually adds up quite a bit of cash after a while. So I bring my birdhouse runs and the seeds for those birdhouses. And this is what your inventory should look like. Something similar to this. So if you are doing the birdhouse runs, I recommend teleporting directly to Fossil Island and then running to this tree and teleporting to the valley uh, so you can start your birdhouse runs. However, if you are just doing the farm run, I would teleport instead to the dig site. Uh, that would get you closer to the trees and then you would just run north through the cave or around the cave if you don't have the agility to the hardwood trees. Um, but if you were doing the burn runs like I am, you go to the valley first and then you come over to the meadow um, do this birdhouse right here and then you run directly south all the way to the final birdhouse and then once you are done with the birdhouses you will run over here to the hardwood tree patches uh, there are three of them here you just pay each farmer to clear out the trees once you have checked their health and then plant your new ones obviously um, once you are done with these tree patches here, you run up north to the boat to travel over to the little island here. Um, you're going to have to be quick with this one because the giant rock crabs will attack you. So just spam uh, the three button, I believe it is, and then that takes you directly out to sea. All right, once you guys are on the island, you're going to want to bank all your burdens, nests, and clockworks. If you did collect those, uh, you're going to want to unequip your hand slots because you cannot dive with those and equip your diving equipment. Uh, you cannot be too heavy when you're going down here. It won't allow you. So you want as much clear inventory as possible. And then here are your final two patches. Um, once you have completed these ones, you have completed your entire farm run. Like I mentioned previously, not every farm run is going to be this long because sometimes you will be doing certain trees and the other times you won't be just because every tree has a different growth time for the most part. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this guide helpful and hopefully it increases your farm runs uh, significantly faster. If this did help, please like the video down below and subscribe and comment down below if you guys have any other content you wish uh, for me to make. Maybe it's a guide or anything like that that you guys need help on something else and I'll be gladly to help you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Peace.